Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're finishing up 6 decimal 4. We're looking at example 2 on uh, page 12 of your booklet. Okay, so we're going to uh, work this question out. We're going to read it first and then we'll uh, answer all the questions that go with the example. So example 1, a refinery produces oil and gas. So right there, um, we'll let x uh, equal oil, right? So I'll do it as I read the question again. You can read the whole question if you want. But I'll let x equal uh, the liters or volume, right? Volume of oil and in unit it's liters. And I'll let y equal I'll let y equal the volume of gas and that's in liters. Okay? And again I just picked oil as X and gas as Y just because it came first and second. It wouldn't matter. It's not like last year with the independent dependent it really doesn't matter here because they both uh, they both represent uh, volumes, right? So it's no big deal. Okay, domain and range, all right? So uh, in this particular case, uh, obviously you can't have negative fuel. So I'm going to say that, say that X is greater than or equal to zero because it could be zero and obviously x has to be an element of uh, the real numbers because you can't have decimal fuel right and same for the range only this will be y right y is going to be your gas okay and again you could use o and g if you wanted to i'm just going to use x and y i like picking x and y again it's not going to make a difference let's look at some of the uh, the constraints or what's limited on your graph here so uh, we get that from the bullets it said the refinery uh, can produce um, up to nine mil oh I skipped the bullet sorry I will go back to those the refinery can produce up to nine million uh, liters of uh, oil and six million liters of gas so we say that X has to be obviously less than or equal to, and the oil is 9 million. Another constraint is going to be the liters of gas. And Y represents gas, and that was 6 million liters. So if it's up to that, you can only produce that amount. Now, the first part of the bullet I skipped before, it says at least 2 liters of gas is produced for every liter of oil. So at least 2 liters of gas for every uh, 1 liter of oil. So... I like to represent that as Y, all right? All right, so Y, as we know, represents the number of volumes of gas. And the relationship is that 2 liters of gas for every liter of oil. So that would be, have to be at least, it said. So that means it's going to have to be greater than or equal to 2 times Oil. So let's think about this one again. This is the one that throws people off a bit. Remember that it says at least two liters of gas for every uh, liter of oil. So that means that to get the number uh, this to be two liters, this would be one for the for the for the oil, right? So one times two would give me the two liters, and again it has to be at least so it's greater than or equal to. Some other constraints are right here actually as well. Um, you could add those in, but remember for the domain and range, the numbers can't be less than or equal to zero. They can be real numbers, however. Um, they don't have to be whole numbers because you can't have 1.5 liters, whatever the case may be. Um, so if anyone has ever filled up gas before um, in their vehicle, their parent guarding vehicles, you'll see that it's three places after the decimal in liters. So it goes right to the milliliter actually is what you see there. All right, so just be mindful of that. The objective function is, um, in this case, to determine the max revenue. So max revenue, we'll represent that with an R. Okay. 
So max revenue is going to equal, this has nothing to do with the inequality, this is how we calculate the fuel, right? And it says it's the gasoline, uh, the oil is $1.75x plus $1.10y, okay? Because it's $1.75 uh, for the oil, which is x, and again, it didn't matter, you could have put 110y, but uh, plus 1 decimal 75 x, that's fine. That's the objective function. Now we'll go to Desmos to graph this. Now remember, it's 6 million and 9 million, but on our graph, we'll just go up by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That way, we can just use um, it in the millions. And I'll show you how to represent that on a graph. Okay? So we have our Desmos program. So instead of making this million, we'll just make this 0 to 10 and 0 to 10. But this is actually represents 10 million. And I'll show you how to write that on your graph to show that representation. Okay? So the first graph, um, when we're graphing it as an inequality on our Desmos program, our x was less than or equal to 9 million. So we'll just put x less than or equal to 9, representing 9 million. Okay? But remember, we don't want to go underneath 0. So if I put a 0 in front here, less than or equal to, That'll just allow me to go from 0 to 9, which is exactly what we want. Now, underneath, we can't do that, but I'll show you that in a minute. And same with y. Uh, y was 6 million. Okay. So, we'll go 0, less than or equal to y, less than or equal to, not, uh, to 6, which represents 6 million. Okay. And that was the, the uh, overlap. Again, I didn't want to go underneath. And then our other objective function is going to be y is greater than or equal to 2, or sorry, greater than or equal to 2x. And you'll notice that it is crossing over in three locations. So right here. So I'll plot those coordinates there. And that is the overlapping of the three inequalities. So once you have the hang of that, um, you really, you can just shade the overlapping of the three regions, or you can shade the whole thing. Just remember to shade it really lightly with a pencil. And the enclosed triangle that you see here, of the points that I'm referring to, 0, 6, 3, 6, and 0, 0, those are the ones that I would uh, have really, really dark, like shaded dark, I guess, right? A little darker than the rest, okay? And there's your graph. You can replace that graph with the one we've created. Now, I'll do that with you in class. Remember, that's if you're not here. Uh, that would be the graph that we would want to see. Okay? So, now we're going to label our graph. It's really important that we label our graph. So, the x-axis, if you recall, was volume of liters. Right? The volume of oil. And that volume of oil is in the millions of liters, okay? The millions of liters. Because this is not 5 liters, this is actually 5 million liters, okay? And that goes with the same up here. So this will be the volume of gas or gasoline, and again, in millions of liters. Now, Sometimes you'll see this written on a uh, on the side, right, going up, and, and that works as well. And that's graphing the system of equations. Okay. And the shaded, remember, your solution is the shaded area in between the overlap of all of these three points in this particular example. All right. So that's it for this video, and that's it for the. Uh, Section 6, decimal 4, and there's the homework that goes with it. There's six questions for you to try on your own. Thanks, everybody, for watching, and I hope the videos are helpful.